talking about? What's up, True Feelings family? How you guys doing on this Saturday? If you're new to my channel, my name is Crystal, and I hope you stay. Now, is it me? Was last night, last night's episode was dry as shit. They could have kept that. Like, the whole finale was just, the only interesting people in the shit was Ty and um, Indy. I didn't give a shit about Haley, that airhead. Definitely didn't give a shit about Max and that other girl, Santiva. Didn't give a shit about her either. Like, last night was a freaking snooze fest. But we're going to talk about Ty's ridiculous ass. And I'm glad her shit is a wrap. And I hope they don't bring her ass back. I want to see this picture first again. I really hope they don't bring her back. She's an embarrassment to black women at that damn age. She really is. I didn't want to see a show like that. That's why I stopped watching Basketball Wives and uh, those hip hops. I'm tired of seeing women get out there, show their ass, and fight. It don't make no damn sense. Everything switched. At the end of the day, Boston's the one that's winning in this whole damn uh, season with uh, fucking Ty. Ty, you made Boston the star from the very, very beginning. It was damn near about Boston to the very end. It was about Boston. It was all fake. It was all stolen from me by Boston. Now, I still think these motherfuckers know each other. That's just how I'm feeling. That's just how I'm feeling. I can be wrong. I don't mind being wrong. But I feel like they knew each other beforehand. Being that Ty is older than Boston, she should have been able to keep her shit in check. Okay? But when she got up there, she started off with the bullshit by calling that girl irrelevant when she was introduced. Why everybody was cool by eyeing just a little bit, but they wasn't hyping up. She started the shit. And she kept going with the shit she could not have a conversation because she's so bent out of shape out of a hottie hoodie who gives a fuck about a damn hottie hoodie like said, she's mad i got his hoodie on how many of them did they make girl come on now you could do you know, better the other that side shit. of that is Ty, you were the side chick. You were the fucking side chick, chick. You know why? Because this girl said she was with him 11, 12 years. She don't know because she never made fuck Sesame Street. But she don't know. We've been together since November. But she been with him longer than your punk ass. So you the side chick. And ain't no way in hell you a puppet master. How you gonna be a puppet master? I'm not about to let no man sit up here and play me. He played you from according to what you said, and I think that's all bullshit, smokes, and, and, and lies, too, that you gave this motherfucker $30,000. Girl, you ain't even had $30,000 to give his ass. I don't believe that shit. I do believe you missed some car payments and shit, and uh, like you said, so you could give Hottie some damn money, but you didn't give this motherfucker no $30,000. So leave that shit to somebody who is very, very, no, that don't understand. Because I don't believe that shit, and I don't think my True Feelings family believe that shit either. No, no. So excuse the damn thumbnail. Because if this motherfucker had $30,000, she got that damn tooth fixed on the side of her damn mouth. Hear ye, hear ye. That's what you should have did with your damn $30,000. Now, I wasn't going to talk no shit, but she started off funky and she ended up funky. <laughs> she gave us nothing but tragic, trifling, and, 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 and tacky. That's what she gave us. Tragic, trifling and some tacky ass shit. What? One of his men gave the time. Now, Boston, you somewhat had it coming. You, you, you threw the water in her face, but I think she would have jumped over the table like a banshee, tried to jump on your ass anyway. But she had that coming from the last one, so it don't even matter. But let me tell you something. Did you guys see the friend for Boston come to her defense? <laughs> The whole while I'm looking at this friend, uh, uh, um, I'm sorry, Ty, your friend wasn't doing shit but standing on the sidelines watching. She wasn't getting involved in your bullshit. She didn't even have your back like that. I didn't see her doing shit. She wasn't trying to go get the other girl from trying to, she wasn't trying to do nothing. I don't even know why she was there. That bitch ain't gonna drink her life like that. But in her defense, the friend, Ty's friend, I wouldn't have did shit either. Like, you ain't gonna have me out here looking like a whole ass clown fighting on your behalf behind some damn man in a fucking hottie hoodie. That's what she's fighting over, a hottie. And then have the nerve to call that girl Dodo Bird. No, sweetie, no. 
You're pretty much the dodo bird and she big bird. See, big bird was smart enough not to keep going back and forth with your ass. No, she's not even worth it. She's not even worth it. Okay, big bird's smart. At some point, his punk ass made it to Sesame Street. Dodo birds is still being dodo. He had to say, give her that hoodie. Like, no, my intuition, like, I'm never wrong. I don't give a fuck. Like I said, when you argue with a fool, who's to know who the fool is? But because the one person who started off was a fool wasn't tripping like that, the fool that we could see was you, Ty. <laughs> you was the biggest fool of the season, and Boston was a star. I kind of got that one. So she get her dumb ass a car and they start driving off and shit. And I don't know if you guys notice. I'm going to try to slow it down and show you. There was a person in the back seat. I'm sure it was one of the producers. But I just found it very funny that the producer was like trying to hide. It's like I see your fucking leg. And then all of a sudden, Hottie's ass called. And this was my ass. So she on the phone telling them she what her, her latest adventure was fighting this broad over her like why would she come up there again to get her ass kicked I, I said ty you didn't kick her ass this you didn't you ain't kicked nobody's ass you're just jumping over shit just looking like a banshee that's all you ain't with nobody's ass because she's not trying to fight you back she didn't try to fight you back she had a little bit of class on her ass not to try to go windmilling with your dumb ass I'm sorry, last night episode was disappointing and got me hot, so I might as well come on here and talk all the shit that I feel like talking. So the shit just got real fake for me when he started begging and shit. I said, really? I'm like, girl, just hang, like, you shouldn't even answer the damn phone call. But as soon as she hung up the phone call, then she's like, okay, I got many, many more, okay? I got many, many more. Let me just move on to BB's ad. I got backups and backups and backups of men. Here's a flower. Come on. There's a flower. I just gave you flowers. BB, Joey, Tyrone, how many more motherfuckers you gonna call? It don't make no sense because she's trying to get another season with another inmate is what she's trying to do. I love being the puppet master. I don't want to see her ass back here no more. I don't. I don't need to see her back here. Not if she coming with this. I don't need I to need see her to go anymore. seek therapy and not seek uh, We TV. Don't seek them. Go see a therapist. This is with bullshit. Look, the only thing I believe in her storyline is her uh, her past with her parents. That's the only shit I believe in her storyline. Everything else is bullshit. Do I believe she's talking to inmates? Yes. But I think she came up with this shit to be on the show. That's just what I'm feeling. That's just what I'm feeling. I think she knew Hottie. Like, I think they all was in it together because it was just a ridiculous... She made the shit ridiculous because she was just doing too much through the whole damn season, you guys. Do you guys agree or not? I'm set free from the fake dream. So now this simple-ass heifer, she drives up to a jail, okay? She drives up to a jail, and this is a scene that I've showed before, and she decides she wants to get out the car and um, because she's all free and shit and pull her titties out. Um, personally, I don't want to see your titties. They didn't even look like great titties to me. Okay, you could have kept them titties in that damn bra. Nobody want to see them fucking titties. Dream about these nice big titties. Like, they really don't. Nobody needed to see that shit. Her, her behavior is... Sorry, you guys. My nails look tragic. I'm going to get the shit done. <laughs> Excuse me. For this woman to be this age and have this behavior, I was highly, highly disappointed. Just because you pretty don't make you, you know, she's a pretty fool. That's all she is. She a pretty fool. And the dumber you are, the foolish you look, the pretty starts to fade away. Because I noticed as I was starting to watch the end of it, the pretty started to fade away. Especially when that motherfucking big ass smile and that teeth was missing. The pretty just went away from me. So for her to pick, 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 pick at it. Okay, because she's too ignorant. So what I'm seeing on her face is an ignorant face. I don't see that pretty face that it started off with. She's too fucking ignorant for me. <laughs> now I'm going to end it with this. With this girl out there showing her damn titties. Let's just use Deontay. What if Deontay went in front of a jail and pulled his penis out and just was swinging it around like, hey, hey, his ass would be in fucking jail. His ass would be arrested. We TV, you couldn't allow uh, Deontay to pull his penis out and just swing it around. You couldn't. 
You couldn't do that shit because that shit against the law. Why a titty ain't against the law? Somebody explain to me why a titty ain't against the law. I just really need to know that. Why a titty ain't against the law? Because like I said, if a man did it, pulled his penis out, even a ball, his ass would be arrested. Okay, for the decent inspo, his ass would be arrested. So why is it that she get to get out there in front of Wee TV and pull her titties out? Then nobody need to see that shit. That was a dumbass ending, and it just was unnecessary to put in. And I didn't like it. I didn't like it. You know, I tried to like Ty. I don't dislike her. I don't like her behavior on the show because I don't know this girl from a can of paint. But I do not like the behavior that she showed on the show because, like I said, it ain't fair to say you don't like someone. I don't know this motherfucker, but she was a motherfucker through the whole thing. I can tell you that. Um, like I said, last night episode was uh, BS, and I just didn't like it. It was a bunch of shit, and it was just it was just boring to me. But I'm trying to pull what I can pull out of it. Anyway, that's all I got for today. I will see you guys with Indy tomorrow because we're gonna have to talk about some shit on some serious shit. On some serious shit. Told y'all was right. We gonna have to talk about some shit. Don't be an asshole, y'all. Bye. <laughs>